Good evening and welcome to our study of 2 Chronicles chapter 19. Second Chronicles 19 recounts the actions of King Jehoshaphat of Judah after his return to Jerusalem from a battle alliance with King Ahab of Israel. The chapter can be summarized as follows. 1. Jehoshaphat's Return and Rebuke Jehoshaphat returns safely to Jerusalem after the battle. However, he is rebuked by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hanani, for helping the wicked king Ahab. Jehu warns Jehoshaphat that God's wrath is upon him because of this alliance, though he also acknowledges that Jehoshaphat has done good by removing the Asherah poles and seeking God. 2. Jehoshaphat's Reforms In response, Jehoshaphat focuses on reforming his kingdom. He travels throughout Judah, encouraging the people to return to the Lord, the God of their ancestors. He appoints judges in the land, instructing them to judge fairly and with the fear of the Lord, reminding them that they judge on God's behalf and must be impartial and just. 3. Three judicial appointments in Jerusalem. Jehoshaphat also appoints Levites, priests, and leading families in Jerusalem to serve as judges for the people. He commands them to act with courage and integrity, fearing the Lord and being careful in their judgments. This chapter highlights Jehoshaphat's commitment to seeking God and ensuring justice in his kingdom, despite the earlier mistake of aligning with a wicked king. I think I have a little bit of a compassion for Jehoshaphat. I think that he was just so desperate to make peace with Israel that he went into battle with Ahab, although Ahab was so ungodly. And I believe God forgave him. It is also so good to see that he humbled himself and continued with the spiritual transformation of Judah, turning the people back to God. This was a beautiful chapter. Join us again tomorrow evening for 2 Chronicles chapter 20. God bless you.